Today, our world is threatened by sinister evil. The Uyghur's homeland has been occupied. A very mild way to phrase it. The land and its people have been completely brutalized under this fascist regime now leading to genocide. Yes, genocide. In the beginning of the 1930s, countries around the world continued to do business with Germany and they avoided acknowledging the burgeoning human rights abuses for the sake of economic trade at the cost of millions of lives. Countries in Europe paid the price of economic cooperation with uh, Nazi Germany with bombs blowing up over their heads. The allied countries easily defended their economic ties with Germany by hiding behind the claims of ignorance. Today, we have the information to act, but even after the painful chapters of history, we still find the international community is crippled by and even they are being complicit in the China's crimes against humanity. Three million Uyghurs, including my own sister, are in the concentration camps and the millions more forced to relocate and work as slaves for China's economic aggression. 13 tons of hair, perhaps, but a portion of what's being taken from prisoners seized recently a byproduct of this genocide. How can this image not pierce our conscience? Is this the hair of my sister? Who is benefiting from my sister's forced labor? We know what this hair means, a very physical representation of never again happening again. There are crematoria attached to the camps now. What else needed for the world to wake up? Are we waiting for mass executions and the gas chambers to be broadcast to the world? How can anyone with a soul still remain silent? Do not make Uyghurs human collateral of this um, economic trade and the short-term politics. This is not just the, the calamity of the Uyghurs. It is a test for humanity. Chinese money has purchased the compliance of Islamic countries, of UN, of corporations, of MBA, the IOC, Hollywood, and the celebrities. But the world must take note. The history will remember the upstanders, and the condemn those who fail to stand for what's right in the face of this evil. Do not allow your conscience to be bought with blood money. We must act now before the only voice left to speak is one of regret.